I would say with the uh, F-16s and the F-18s as well, I mean, they're, they're a serious sailing class. Like they're really good catamarans to sail, but at the same time, it's, it's a great class to come in as a beginner. Um, you know, you might not want to go out in the really heavy stuff as a beginner, but they're, they're a wonderful boat to learn on as well as to, to sail. Especially the F-16, you can sail it one up, you can sail it two up. It's got a spinnaker, so you've got all the fun of going downwind with a spinnaker one up is just next best thing to anything, right? You know, it's, it's a lot of fun, yeah. Yeah, look, it's a, it's a pretty, uh, pretty cool group of people to sail the boat, so um, a lot of, lot of friends here, a lot of people to talk to, a bit of a dinner, yeah, just hanging out. It's good fun. Uh, so we are Element Sales, uh, Peter, Dunk, Ben Clark, and uh, we are, I guess, long-time cat sailors. It's most of what we've done. And uh, we, we predominantly make sails for the F-16, F-18, Vipers, Mosquitoes, uh, most of the sort of cats that are floating around these days. I think uh, being a small loft, our eye for detail, uh, personalisation, build quality uh, are, are some of the major points. Uh, not being the biggest loft in town, we can get that customer one-on-one -on -one a lot more than some of the bigger lofts. Uh, well, we love the class firstly. We think the, the, the Viper and the F-16 are just fantastic boats and uh, yeah, we, we own them. We own the boats, we sail them uh, week in, week out. It's an incredible class to be part of. I think of um, all of the events, these type of events are definitely one of the best. And I think the social part of the class really makes it because you come here to sail and we do have a great time on the water, but that's not the only reason you're here. You're here for five days and most of the time you're at the boat park or out with um, some of the guys for dinner or at events like this. And um, having good friends around, actually learning off each other is probably the biggest part of that. Everyone's telling their war stories when they come back in and you're like, man, that's what I should have done. If I'd done that at that mark, I could have, could have made up some spots or um, hearing from Greg as well about what we were doing right and wrong out on the, on the bay. And, yeah, everyone's learning from each other and helping each other out and when people came in broken on after the practice race and everyone's rushing off to help them and it's a, it's a really nice vibe from um, the F-16, F-18s. Um, we've got some pretty fun events uh, going on. We've got um, we had a, a Four Nations food bar last night that was excellent. We've got uh, a, a beer sponsor with Capital Brewing, it's on our, the beer drinking sleeve, um, that have come on board and are sponsoring some awesome beers and things like that. So that's what it's, it's about. It's about enjoying ourselves off the water as well as on the water. Um, and then this evening we've got a, a, a dress up party. <laughs> with a talent quest, so we'll see how that goes. It should be a, good for a laugh and uh, the guys should have a good time. To break the ice, I think I'll um, show you my talent. I was going to tell you jokes about the unemployed, but none of them worked. <laughs> so, so you think you can tell him from hell I love the guitar. Three. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a four, four eight, eight, and three is eleven. 11.
I think the class is in a really strong position at the moment, in, especially in Australia. Um, there's been a real, um, I guess, uh, uh, injection of energy, uh, especially with the new rigs um, and some new people getting on board up in, in Sydney. Um, and we're seeing, I guess, a lot of mixed teams, which is, sort of makes, I guess, the social side of it much more enjoyable as well. And because we get to join with the F18 now, it's allowing a really good transfer of information and skills between the more experienced F18 sailors and the F16 sailors that are, um, I guess, developing and learning and looking at potentially international travel down the, down the line. Two seasons ago now, Bo approached me about putting the fleets together and sailing as one, which I supported and I thought was a great idea and, and we wanted kids coming through to move up from the F-16s to F-18s. Yeah, I think it's the way moving forward. I mean, sailing has dwindled a bit over the years, I think, because we have too many classes to choose from. So here we're amalgamating two fleets together. So I think that's a step in the right direction and I applaud what Bo's trying to achieve. Different conditions favour different boats and it all works out in the wash and the F-18 had it a bit easier today with the extra boat having a bit easier time in the big waves but um, I'm sure the F-16s will clean us up when the wind dies off a little. So we've been using exclusively Harken fit-outs now for about 10 or 12 years and they just they just offer the complete package of every every pulley, every block, um, traveller cars, jib traveller tracks. While they started just making things right, they made things well, they don't break and they run well, they're constantly improving and they're constantly trying new things and they're very committed to getting it right. So we, uh, we enjoy working with them and we develop a lot of little fittings here and there that help us and also help them in the long term as well. Well, two of our, I guess, main products are the F-18 and the F-16, so the Viper and the Acura and C-2. The biggest evolution has been in the sailplane. The, the F-16 hasn't really um, developed a long way from what we initially did with the Viper. It became pretty much the yardstick. I think we've won the next seven worlds in a row. The F-16 has always been a bit of a sports car of a boat, and um, putting the deck sweeper on has just made it a bit more manageable, a bit more refined. So we're a rigging company based in Pitwater. We mostly work on like yachts and cruising boats, but recently we've been getting into the F-16s and just, I don't know, sort of helping people understand maintenance on the boats. You can come from a beginner, get on it, and then you can go through to being a top level here and sailing out in 25 knots. And the boats are exciting from day one, and the more you learn, the better they get. So I don't think you can describe it. We usually just have to grab someone, chuck them on a boat, and see how they go. Like, no one's come off saying, we don't want to get back on this boat. I just like sticking it to the boys, really. <laughs> it's not just something they can do. Like, it's really anyone can jump on the boat and give it a crack. And, That's right. It's really not a yeah, gender-specific sport. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to do the bang in the corners. It's a bit of fun, hopefully. Uh, it'd be good if there was a bit more breeze, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Hopefully you can maybe hide a, hold a kite for some of it, that would be good. Oh, we just did uh, Banging the Corners Cup, good. You know, a lot of uh, kites up, kites down, a few different angles of sail. A um, bit of a different start to what you know, we normally do, downwind start of a kite. So, uh, you know, a few transit and transits and uh, time and distance and trying to nail that while uh, swerving around other boats. It's good fun, yeah. I mean, it's the first time we've ever done this in this fleet, so it's very interesting. Yeah. I reckon if there was like five more knots, maybe 10, it would be so loose. But for a first time, it was awesome. Yeah, it was good, yeah. good for a practice. Yeah. Really There's a lot of banter out there too, a lot of charting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once you get in front, hey, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so F-16 is experiencing a great sort of re-energising of the class um, and when we went and approached sponsors uh, about it, that energy seems to be filtrating through and they're seeing that it is a growing class again. It was actually pretty easy to get good sponsors on board with the structure of the event and the focus on fun. Yeah.